chapter two, comprehensive problem. Hello all. Now that we have an understanding of job order costing, it's time to do a comprehensive problem. The drill is designed to show you how to determine the predetermined overhead rate or PDOR, how to apply manufacturing overhead to product costs using the PDOR, how to determine the total cost of a job, how to determine product unit cost, and how to set a selling price using a markup on cost. We will use a plant-wide PDOR to solve our problem. Our problem involves the MSFT Corporation. The company has two manufacturing departments, machining and finishing. A job order costing system is used because of the uniqueness of its products. Total cost is determined by adding actual direct material used to actual direct labor cost and then applying manufacturing overhead based on a plant-wide overhead rate. At the beginning of the year, estimates are made on machine hour use, total cost of fixed manufacturing overhead, and variable manufacturing overhead per machine hour. MSFT Corp. uses machine hours as the allocation base in both production departments. Further, the company uses a 40% markup on manufacturing costs to establish selling prices. You have been asked to determine the total cost, the unit cost for each product, and the selling price for both job F and job K. The job F order includes 100 units, while job K includes 250 units of product. As we've been saying in class, understanding the problem is always key to preparing an answer. Meeting the requirements requires that you determine a predetermined overhead rate and use the PDOR in actual machine hours to apply manufacturing overhead to each product. The key concepts here are plant-wide predetermined overhead rate, manufacturing overhead applied, total product cost, product unit cost, and markup pricing. Your first step is to determine the plant-wide predetermined overhead rate. The PDOR is always determined at the beginning of the period, and the PDOR is always based on estimates. The PDOR formula requires that you divide the estimated manufacturing overhead by the estimated amount in the activity base. For this problem, to determine the estimated manufacturing overhead, we need to add the fixed manufacturing overhead for each department to the estimated variable manufacturing overhead for each department. The fixed manufacturing overhead is easy. It is $16,500 for machining and $20,300 for finishing. So you have a total of $36,800. The estimated variable manufacturing overhead requires that you multiply the estimated variable manufacturing overhead costs per machine hour by the estimated total machine hours to be used. For machining, we would multiply $1.70 per machine hours with 7,000 machine hours to get $11,900. For finishing, you multiply $2.50 per machine hours by 3,000 machine hours to get $7,500. And $7,500 gives us a total variable manufacturing overhead of $19,400. To get the total estimated manufacturing overhead, we just add, summing the total column for fixed cost of $36,800 
and the variable cost of $19,400 gives us a total manufacturing overhead estimate of $56,200. Adding the cross for each department gives us the same result. Now that we have the estimated manufacturing overhead, we can divide it by the allocation base and determine the PDOR. Since the allocation base is machine hours, we look above and bring down the 10,000 hours and divide the $56,200 by the 10,000 machine hours to get a PDOR of $5.62 per machine hour. The reason we are using the estimated manufacturing overhead of 56,200 and the 10,000 machine hours is because this is a plant-wide rate. So our PDOR is $5.62 per machine hour. Now that we have the PDOR, we can apply manufacturing overhead to each product. Manufacturing overhead is applied by multiplying the PDOR by the actual machine hours needed to produce each product. For both products, we need to go through both the machining and finishing department. To apply the manufacturing overhead for job F, we multiply the 2,800 machine hours that it took in the machining department by $5.62 PDOR to get a total of 15,736. For the finishing department, we multiply the 2,000 machine hours times the $5.62 to get $11,240. The total manufacturing overhead to be applied for job F then is $26,976. The total of $15,736 and $11,240. We do exactly the same thing for job K. We take the PDOR of $5.62 per machine hours and apply it to both departments. The activity in machining is 4,200 hours. The activity in finishing is 1,000 hours. We multiply those numbers and we get $23,604 for machining and $5,620 for finishing. For a total manufacturing overhead to be applied of $29,224. At this point, we can determine the total cost for each product. Total manufacturing cost equals the sum of direct material direct labor, and manufacturing overhead applied. Notice that we are referring to manufacturing overhead as manufacturing overhead applied. The term applied refers to the fact that for each product that we produce, we are applying a portion of our total company manufacturing overhead in order to arrive at a total cost. For job F, we look up and bring down the direct material cost of $12,800. We then bring down the direct labor cost of $24,300. These are actual costs. Then we look up off and bring in the $26,976 that we had calculated for manufacturing overhead applied. Adding the three cost components gives us a total of $64,076. For job K, we do exactly the same thing. We bring down the $6,700 for direct material cost, the $7,800 for direct labor cost, and the $29,224 of manufacturing overhead to be applied. Adding the three up, we get a total cost for job K of $43,724. If we add the amounts across, we get a total manufacturing cost for both products of $107,800.
Once we have determined the total job cost for each product, we simply divide the total by the number of units in the job to get the per unit cost. Since job F included 100 units, we divide the total cost of $64,076 by 100 units in the job. The unit cost for job F is $640.76. For job K, we divide the total manufacturing cost of $43,724 buy 250 units in the job to get a unit cost for job K of $174.90. The final step is to recommend a selling price based on a markup over total cost. The calculation involves multiplying the total manufacturing cost by one plus the markup rate, which is stated as a decimal. Since the markup is 40%, we'll use 0 0.40. Since the total manufacturing cost for job F was $64,076, and since our markup is 40%, we will multiply the $64,076 by 1.40. The selling price would be 89706 for K, the total manufacturing cost was 43724 To get a selling price, we multiply the $43,724 by 1.40 to get $61,214. There you go. You've just completed a comprehensive problem in job order costing using a plant-wide predetermined overhead rate. Thanks for viewing the video. Good luck.